Welcome everyone to Bloodstain Ritual of the Night, part of the Bloodstain series of course. This game in particular is a 2D Metroidvania game, heavily inspired from obviously Metroid and Castlevania, but more so Castlevania. If you've played the Castlevania series, you will see a lot of elements within that series into this game. So it's a rather newer one, and by newer one I mean it came out a couple years ago, around two years ago or so, and it's a pretty fun one. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to play this because obviously a lot of you have been um, asking about more Metroidvania games to play on the channel just to cover them and showcase them. So we're going to do it. So first things first, there are a couple different things you can do. You can do a regular game start playing through the main story. There's also extra mode where you can do speedrun mode, randomizer mode, boss revenge mode, and classic mode. But I'm not going to be covering these on this playthrough. If you want bonus videos, I can definitely do that if you recommend that stuff or, you know, suggest that. Configuration, you can also go ahead and do this if you want to uh, map your controls, which is pretty nice. Volume, I'm going to keep at the same graphics, that's fine. Brightness, um, and language, voice language. Rumble off, hints on. Shard animation, yeah, that's on, blood red, and then that's perfectly fine. It's actually all good. Let's do game start here. We're going to do, we're going to choose this, um, the third one. That way I can, because putting them together, it's a little... Sometimes I might get confused. I'm just going to put this one on the third one. And I'm going to name myself Shiny, I would say. I always do Shiny. Let's do it. That way I know, right? Okay. Let's see what his name Yes. All right, so you can play as Zangetsu if you, um, if you want to, but it's not recommended to do that the first time you play it through the game. Um, go ahead and do um, Miriam the very first time. That's going to be very uh, highly recommended. There's also difficulty. I'm into normal. The game is overall, I don't know, it's kind of all over the place. There's a lot of parts that are really easy and simplistic, but then there's also the occasional hard part. Um, some bosses are a freaking pain in the ass, and you'll see. Others are kind of a cakewalk, so it's, it's all over the place. It's a very all over the place difficulty game, which is very weird. It's one of the weirdest things about this game. It's not a typical game like, oh, it's easy in the beginning, gets progressively harder. No, this game is all over the place. So, we'll see. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell sand, still Christ had already been. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial flight. However, two survived. Jibo, the boy for whom by some miracle the right did not come to the door. And Miriam, a girl who spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before the great began. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, glancing towards the inevitable.
Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jibel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced. Arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh. I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Okay, so we get into the gameplay here, although we're just gonna open this chest real, real quick here and then we're gonna get a little bit more dialogue. So we're gonna press plus to open the main menu here. Um, but basically, we've got some equipment here. By going to the equipment menu, we can equip whatever we want. We have Kung Fu Shoes and Knife. They both do the same damage, it's just different type of damage, it's like strike damage and different types of things and some of it is a little confusing, but I'm going to go with the knife, uh, Ares horns, uh, no other accessories I believe, okay we're all good here. Good, you're prepared. The next order of business is to... I'll take care of it. Alright, so just simply go up to an enemy and attack it with Y and it's dead. This here is a shard. We're gonna get introduced to this concept pretty much right now. A crystallized form of demon power it cannot be handled by an ordinary human being. Press X to trigger projectile magic consumes MP. Cerulean splash, launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Alright. So we finally get um, into the actual game itself. So basic controls here. You can walk left to right. That is the max speed that you walk. So yes, you can jump. Uh, tapping it is a light jump. Holding it is more. So that's a great jumping concept. Some games don't do that, which is kind of annoying. And you attack with Y. That's all that there really is to do at the moment. We'll get introduced to more things as we go. Oh, you can also dodge. Um, or like, it's a backstab which can work as a dodge, but it's kind of awkward sometimes. So, you'll see. Okay, so we got some of these basic enemies. These are Mortis, Morts, whatever they call them. I don't know. Pretty basic stuff. Yeah, here we go. So, press B to jump higher. And that's how that works. Up, pressing up on treasure chest, you'll get stuff. So, alright, that's cool. Got a potion there. And then here. Alright, so simply move this, hold up your hand, 
it says to tilt, and there we go. Easy mechanic, easy mechanic. Now, there are plenty of secrets in this game. Like, invisible, or not invisible, breakable walls and stuff like that, so we just kind of got to, like, uh... I don't know, a lot of it's memorization and knowing the different places that these things can be found, so we just gotta, you know... Like over here, for example, there's a secret. If we run up this way, we will actually get taken to... A nice little secret on the left. Got an enemy here, too. There we go. Ooh, a shard. Another cerulean splash there. Oh, shit. And he's dead. Uh, what, what, what the hell was that, enemy? Country dress. Cool. Now over here is a wall you can break. HP max up item, that's pretty good. Alright. Now we get some more max HP. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that thing we just got. So if we actually go over here to country dress, you'll see this thing gives us 3 defense, 1 intelligence, and 2 mind. I don't think I have any other stuff yet. No, not quite yet. Okay, let's go. I think that's it for that section there, so now we're just gonna go... We'll just go to the right, of course. I mean, not really much else to do. Oh, what the hell? I want this bird to get up here so I can kill it. There is also an experience mechanic in this game, so, um... It does actually help to defeat enemies, because you will get experience from them by defeating them all, so... There you go, it's a level up already. Getting level ups, granting more defense, more health, more attack, and so on. These things are going to use my magic. Uh, because they are very powerful. Stand from afar and just press X button to use your Cerulean Splash. We got a Rusted Ring for that. Another nice little accessory. Gives us one defense, one con. Okay. And that's all we can do there. Now we're going to go down. By pressing down and B in a platform. You can always drop down through platforms by doing that. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, now here's two ways. I'm not sure which way. Yeah, this is where it gets a little confusing sometimes. Candles can drop a mana rose when destroyed. A mana rose is a magical rose that slightly replenishes MP. Cool. You know what? I think I should go... Oh, no, I did go the right way. Never mind. Another potion. Sweet. Okay. Now we're going to go to the right side. The only other pathway to go at the moment. Here we go. Down and B to slide. See? Simple enough. Tunic. I don't think that one's actually as better as, as good as this one. Nope. That one's worse. Yeah. Okay, there's this thing here. These things will usually teach you, like, abilities and stuff, or just um, give you... Okay, following attributes, slash, thrust, strike, fire. Okay, so... I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment, but we are going to go this way. These red things are actually save points. Simply walk up to them, press up on the pad, save your progress, and there we go. And that's it for this first video. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Alright, let's go to the left. Yeah, I'm going to keep these videos around 30 to 35 minutes each in case you're wondering. Um, okay. A couple ways to go here. I think I'm going to drop all the way down to the bottom, though. Oh, gee, that thing jumped right on me. Open that. Hairband. Oh, look, another Cerulean Splash. Right? I'm getting a little lucky with that. Those things will drop randomly, so, you know, just to let you know. Hairband is an improvement. A one more defense plus one intelligence. We're definitely going to equip that. Um, I wanted to say, you can also press minus for the map. Now, I know there's always, like, invisible walls all over the place, so... Or, or breakable walls, I should say, not invisible. What the hell am I talking about? Got some rounds, and I got a Musketoon. Gun can be shot by equipping guns with a bullet. When you run out of the type of bullet that was equipped, the bullet will be replaced with a much weaker infinite bullet. Yes, that's true. Okay. Kill that thing. I'm probably going to level up again soon. But yeah, I recommend that you do go around defeating enemies. It will help a lot in the long run. It really will. Just getting all that nice experience, you know? Okay, now we're going to go onto the... Whoops. Onto the left. Yeah, those things are so easy. Those morts are just... or whatever. Alright, we got a... What do we get? Directional shard, uh-huh. Okay, so this one was a flame cannon. So, a little quick tutorial about shards. Um, there's five different categories, and depending on the shard, it will always be one type of category. Like, I have none of them manipulative, no passive, no familiar yet. 
but I have this Flame Cannon for Directional and then Conjure Cerulean's Flash. So if I want to use Directional, you simply aim and you press ZR and it lights stuff up and you'll also do damage and it broke that wall right there as you just saw. That's pretty neat. Okay, we're just going to keep going now. Oh, okay, that's a little uh, MP thing. It gives you MP. Cotton, Halite, and Sugar. Now, I want to test something out really quick. Hold on. Okay, never mind. I thought blue chess. I'm pretty sure it is the blue chess, though. There's a type of colored chest that responds, but I think only after you zone out like two spaces or something. Uh, this might be a broken uh, wall it can be broken. Yep. MP max up. Sweet. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Just gonna keep dropping down. And we're done there. Next room. Um, another enemy here. Let me deal with it. Oh god, there's a couple of them here. Oh, it's not dead yet. I thought it was dead. Alright, now let's go up. I think that was actually it up there. There wasn't any other places to go to. Alright. Alright, so let's see in this room here. There's, oh god. A couple of those cannon enemies. We're gonna grab this. Press minus to view the full map. There we go. So we just got the map. That's pretty nice. Oh, level up. Perfect. Got some SP rounds. We're also going to jump this way. Get some more treasure over here. More SP rounds. Bronze and Halite. There's no enemy over there, but I'll just go around. It's fine. But yeah, as you can see, breaking those lamps will always give you money. I kind of didn't talk about that. I don't know why I didn't. Flame cannon. Cool. Where's that enemy? It's over here. Yeah, see, I'm just getting a lot of upgrades. Lots of nice power-ups here and there. Got to try to get as many items as possible early in the game so you can, you know, be stronger faster. Got a short sword there. That one's pretty good. Um, I probably should go for that one, actually. Short swords are generally pretty good, I would say. Uh, there's also speed, but this game doesn't actually show you speed, like speed stat. Um, it does more damage, but it's a little bit slower, just a tiny bit slower. Overall, I think short swords are better than daggers. If you have something of like equivalent, you know, damage to speed ratio, then it does make sense to go ahead and go with the short sword. Flashing air kick. Okay. I think this might be a save point, actually. I don't know. Yep, it is a save point. Okay. Save progress. Yes, of course, of course. Okay, let's go up. Got a bronze right there. Oops, I already jumped that. What is this? Tattered scarf. That's a better scarf. Yep, one defense, one mine, so just net, net us one more mine. I don't have any other accessories at the moment, so that's actually the best stuff I have at the moment, so... We're fine, we're good. Ooh, we got a critical right there, okay. That can't happen, get your critical hits. Alright, you're dead. Now let's just keep on running. Oh, another one of those. Simple enough. Yeah, I don't think I can actually go up there at the moment. That's a little too far out of reach. Again, it's a Metroidvania game. There is going to be backtracking because you cannot get all the items, you know, in the first trip. Oh, these ghost enemies. I hate these things. They're pretty freaking annoying. Damn it, I missed it. It's fine. Also, I probably should kill one of those ghosts. Uh, you do te technically want to kill at least one of each so that it can go like into your log. Made more enemies spawn here, that's fine. Let's keep going. Is this a breakable wall? 
It is. It's a safe ring. Uh, that's the second one here. Uh, defense 15. Oh my god. Attack minus 10. That may not be useful. That is very low. Claymore. I don't really like these. Those swords. I'll show you really quick on why. Here's the speed. It's very slow. A higher damage, of course, but very slow, and I just don't think it's worth it. You know? I, I don't know. Okay, let me look at the map here really quick. Okay, got it. Let's break these things. Grab a chest, some seeds, that's all gonna be coming handy for later. Another level up. Perfect. Okay, and there's that. I can go... Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice little... Shortcut. This blows up a wall here, which now opens up a pathway on this side. Back in the place we've already been to. So it's a nice little shortcut. Sometimes that is gonna be happening, just to let you know. Um, and you wanna do that, you know, it makes it easier for backtracking later on by unlocking these shortcuts. And stuff, so... Yeah. Alright, this we just gotta push over there. And also hit that for some money. Wait, did I not get money? That was weird. Whip. I'm also not really a big fan of whips. I mean, it kind of depends on the weapon, of course, on the power of it, but... It's slow. It's also very slow. High damaging, but just not worth it in, in most cases. We'll see. At least not that whip. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so there's an item over here. We'll take this thing. 500G. Cool. Alright, that one's dead. Jesus, I can't... There we go, finally. That was a lot of enemies there. What about you? See, they just keep respawning, I'm pretty sure. In these areas. Alright, then move on to the right. And, oh my god, something in my eye. Jesus, there we go. Got rid of it. Alright, if you go to the right, that's actually a boss. Um, I recommend not doing that right now. You want to come down here because there's a couple things you want to get first. Okay, you're going to have to actually aim diagonal down in there. When you're crouching, like, yeah, you can't just aim up in this game, you know, like the, most of the quality like Metroidvania games. But what you can do is when you're going down, you're going to aim diagonal down at least. So you can hit enemies on the ground and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Here's a save point. I don't think any save points have, like, breakable walls, right? It's been a while since I've last played this, you know, but... Alright, there we go. Just gonna go up. And we are ready for the boss. I suppose I'll do this again to get a little bit more money. Let's go to the right. humanity but you restored my hope don't you remember <sighs> master jeeble we must return yes miriam i tire of reminiscing with you 
You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Grim. We're leaving. Alright, so here's the first boss in the game. It's, oh my god, are you serious? What a fantastic start. It's a very, I mean, I'll just tell you right now, a lot of the bosses in this game are kind of awkward in design. And you'll see very, very soon, for sure. Okay, not a good start. Basically, just get up to it, um, pummel it. Okay, I'm actually playing really badly. I'm, my timing is off in everything. Okay, those you want to sidestep going back. Uh, eventually comes into the middle. Here's your chance to knock to get some good hits, solid hits on there. And then here you just want to jump over when the water thing comes. You're gonna go back into the right. Get some good solid hits in there. These orbs will actually make enemies spawn. Be very god damn it, that freaking tentacle look is so annoying. I can't see. Oh Jesus, I might actually die, which is really sad. Okay, going back over here, into this section. Okay. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. But yeah, just knowing that the moves and everything, it's it's pretty simplistic. Once you know the moves and the attack pattern, not too bad. I mean, I was down to about a third of my health, so that's that's, that's fine. Thrashing tentacle attacks us with one of Epper's tentacles. It's very pricey though on the MP that it uses. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. And that right there is the official intro of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So, yep, first boss down, and they're like, you know what, we'll make the actual official intro of this game. So, that's pretty cool. We're here. Was this a village? What happened to it? The demon's Jeebel summit? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right, but wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. All right, so we have to clear the area a little bit here. We're just going to keep going to the right. This is Arvantville, the second area of the game. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, you can break these for uh, money, like always, and any of those lanterns can be broken for money and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, this is a giant rat. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Be very careful, don't you dare die. Don't you dare die right now. Are you sick? Really? We got a melting bone, and we're basically there at the end now, okay. This is going to be a good time to end the video after these cutscenes and stuff. Oh, thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. An exorcist. And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. 
And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger. But she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shadbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm all right, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. Okay, so all we're going to do is um, go to a... A save. I just wanted to see if there's anything over there, but no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we just have to go uh, forward a little bit more because I mean, there's gonna be more cutscenes and stuff, and I kind of just want to go down and do a save. Yeah, there's still more cutscenes here. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone. Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. All right, so I know, I know I missed a chest right there in that room, but it's because I'm going to go all the way to the right person and just do a save, because the save point is over here. Next video, I'm going to start by talking to all these characters here, um, getting some items here, and then eventually getting out of this area. So before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.